Hey everyone, this is the Finance Course Guru. I'm going to show you today how to figure out the cost of common equity by using the dividend growth model. This sounds confusing. It's actually really easy to do, but there are many instances in which analysis in the real world or assignments can throw us off by using different dividends. So let's just take a quick look. We'll jump right into this. We'll be in and out. So I have some data down here. We have this company and the current dividend or the most recent dividend for the company is $1. So we see that they most recently or currently are paying a dollar. If we know that the growth rate is going to be 5%, we can figure out that next year's dividend is $1.5. Now what I've done over here is I've listed kind of the financial abbreviations for these. So D0 again is the current dividend. The lowercase g is considered the growth rate. D1 is next period's dividend. And PO is the current stock price. And again, that's the market price, not the par value. When we do this, we want to see what's this going to cost us. You know, If we want to build common equity into our capital structure, what do we need to pay in terms of dividend and growth to investors in order to get money from those investors? So it's, it's going to be the cost of our common equity, which is a component of our weighted average cost of capital. So what we're going to have, we can just fill in up here, and I've made a little box to help us organize our thoughts. We know that the next dividend is going to be $1.05. We know the current stock price is $10. And we know the growth rate is 5%. Not too bad. The formula is right here. That'll do this for us. It'll line everything up. So what do we do? We look at the percent uh, that investors are demanding based on our dividend. Uh, which is our dividend D1 divided by the current stock price P0. And we add to that the growth rate that's demanded by investors. So what we have is the cost of common equity. Now, this is used as part of figuring out an organization's weighted average cost of capital. So if you look down into the right, you'll see a video that will take you to uh, uh, a video that will work through the weighted average cost of capital for you using not only uh, the cost of equity, but also the cost of debt and the cost of preferred equity. I hope this is helpful. See the next video to see how this flows into the weighted average cost of capital. Again, if this was helpful to you, please uh, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. If there's ever any other subject that you want me to address, leave it in the comments and I'll make a video for you. Thanks a lot and good luck.